Hello, I'm Elizabeth Volpe Bly. I was the principal harpist of the Vancouver Symphony from 1982 to 2018. And I am on the faculty at the University of British Columbia and also at the BSO School of Music teaching harp. Today, we'd like to show you a little bit about what the harp is like. Here are the pedals that are on a concert grand pedal harp. You can see there are seven of them. There's the E, the F, the G, and the A, and then the B, the C, and the D. And they control these little beauties over here. And if you look at the red one, which is C, and I'm moving the C pedal, you can see how this works. Now I'm gonna demonstrate how the pedals work in action. This is a little excerpt from a piece by Salzero called Chanson dans la nuit. And I will call out when I'm changing the pedals and you can notice how the chord will change, even though I'm just stroking the strings. So here we are. I did forget to call it one of the changes, but you get the idea. Hi everyone, my name is Lanny Krantz. I'm one of the heart teachers here at the VSO School of Music. And today I would like to introduce you to this beautiful instrument just behind me. It is called a lever harp. And you can see my lever harp just against my concert grand harp behind it. It is quite a bit shorter. And lever harps come in all different shapes and sizes. You can get 22 strings all the way up to 40. This harp is a Line and Healy Ogden. And um, it's a nice small size for, um, for shorter people. Um, children can play on this instrument. The youngest student that I've had that has played on this instrument is four. Um, and it can be used professionally as well. So um, these harps are very versatile. And the reason we call them lever harps is because each string is fitted with a lever. And what the lever allows us to do is to raise each string by a semitone. So this is my C natural string. And when I raise the corresponding lever, I now have a C sharp. So it has raised the string semitone. So here's a little bit of a fun tune when I'm 64, just to see the levers in action. The harp has a, a lot of colors you can make on it. We have various um, special effects. One of them is called the whistling sound. I'm just going to turn this a little so you can see. Down at the base, they're made of the strings are made of wire. So if you run your palm along there, you get a whistle like that. And I've used that in some of my pieces to imitate the sounds of, for example, whales blowing their blowholes in the water. And another thing we do is we use our nails sometimes. So instead of using the pad, we use the nail or we go right down to the soundboard and play with the nail there. You can also do glissandos with just with the nails, like that, instead of... So this might be one glissando, but with the nails, it sounds really different. Or you can use a whole bunch of nails, so you can get all these different colors. It's really quite lovely. One of the beautiful things that you can do on a harp is to create harmonics. So harmonics happen when you take a vibrating string and you cut that vibration in half. What you hear is the note sounding an octave higher, but it has quite a different sound to it or tone. There's the harmonic. There's the regular string. And here's the string an octave higher. string, 
that string is just going to keep ringing through. So when we're learning a new piece, we need to consider where we're putting our fingers, which strings we're plucking. We also need to consider which strings are still ringing through. So for example, um, sympathetic vibrations. So, what I can do as I'm playing is I can consider leveling out some of the extra noise that's coming in from the bottom of the harp. Right? Then you have a cleaner sound. The other thing that you can do with muffling is you can get things like a slap bass sound in the left hand. Staccato sounds. So here's a short excerpt of a piece called The Girl in the Red Skirt by harpist Lori Papajan. And you're going to hear some playing at the soundboard as well as some muffling techniques and some backhand strumming. and hopefully useful and who knows maybe you'll decide to learn how to play the harp they come in all shapes and sizes just like us <laughs>